Hey guys, I wanted to show you one of the earliest motors, earlier motors. Uh, it's not one of the first, but it is one of the first ones. I was still winding Bedini coils, but I was using these uh, transformer plates. And this is the first motor that went through that transition. Uh, Craig Martin's been running tests with this one, and we decided to upgrade it. get it going at about 3000 RPM because it does have a built-in generator so uh, I thought it would be a good opportunity to go through and really upgrade this to something that should be able to put out a little bit of power with the generator and one of the first things I did was to strap one of these new honking uh, cables that are running 120 volts on there well that wasn't a good idea because what happened is the coil was too big and it interfered with these magnets so what I'm gonna have to do is replace these coils with coils similar to the ones that were on it like this uh, to keep it from interfering with these two rows of magnets it's basically got a PMG built right into the top of it and it was a Bedini coil so it didn't put out the same kind of magnetic field that the new coils do but when I strapped the new coils on it wouldn't run and I couldn't figure out what was going on here I'm, the thing was screaming uh, as far as the triggering effects it's so small that it was actually just putting too much energy in and these magnets up here on the top were acting as brakes as it passed so there's only four magnets on it and um, for every magnet that's on it there'd be three little brakes between each one of the magnets so it wouldn't run obviously because of that so I thought I'd take an opportunity and basically mount it on a new stand change the design of the coil slightly so we could get this thing screaming because at one time with this generator and these Bedini type coils that were on it uh, it would run it had some caps on it but it would run for an hour without being plugged into anything but uh, no, those days are gone but <laughs> it uh it still has that generator built on it and it wasn't really going real fast when it would do that so it wasn't anything really impressive but if I could get this thing running you know 3000 rpm with that generator on it it could actually make some power yeah I did want to show you one other thing here that this wheel with the generator there's no iron in it in between them the things but now watch when I short it Now, even though there's no iron, as those coils are energized, they become a magnet. So it still does affect it. Let me do that one more time for you. Listen. Not quite as much drag as a conventional generator, but still has drag. So, you know we still have our work cut out for us guys we have to figure a way to do this effectively so uh, I just wanted to show you one of the things we're we're working on this is kind of a joint project with me and uh, Greg Martin here we're trying to uh, modify this in a way that's going to allow it to run uh, using that generator so uh, I'll be doing updates and I'll probably just post these in the motor lab because these are basically just concepts that we're testing this is not like the box motor where we want people to build them it's just concepts that are being tested so um, look for those updates uh, in the motor lab section uh, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out <laughs>